Hi, passionate Rangers FC fans. Welcome to Rangers Update, your dedicated source for all things Rangers. Before we dive in, we want to express our gratitude for your unwavering support. If you bleed blue, don't forget to subscribe, smash that like button, and let's strengthen our community. Now, let's get into the latest updates, a hearty welcome to our new followers. Your backing means the world to us. WATP, let's get to the news. As the 2020-21 season approached, Steven Gerrard made a bold statement with significant investments in his attacking lineup. Among his acquisitions were Kimar Roof and Swiss centre-forward Cedric Itten, who joined the Rangers from FC St. Gallen. Itten had just enjoyed a remarkable season, scoring 20 goals and providing seven assists before his move. With such impressive numbers, expectations were high that Gerard had secured a striker with immense potential. However, the reality fell short of these lofty expectations. Despite Rangers clinching the Premiership title in his debut season, Itten's contribution was lacklustre, managing only six goals in 37 appearances across all competitions. His performance didn't quite match the buzz surrounding his arrival. Seeking a revival of Itten's fortunes, Gerard decided to loan him out to Bundesliga side Grutha Firth. Here, Itten did manage to score against the mighty Bayern Munich, but his overall impact was fleeting during his brief spell in Germany. When Giovanni van Bronckhorst took the reins in January 2022, he offered Itten a fresh start in Glasgow. Unfortunately, the resurgence never materialised, and Itten netted only twice before the season's end, signalling an end to his Rangers tenure. By the summer of 2022, Itten was sold to BSC Young Boys for a modest £1.5 million, a significant decrease from the fee Rangers had initially paid. This sale seemed to be a financial loss, but the story didn't end there. Since his departure, Itten has transformed into a prolific goalscorer. Back in Switzerland, his market value has surged, now standing at £6 million according to football transfers the young boys appear to have struck gold with their acquisition. In his first season with the Swiss club, Itten's performance was nothing short of sensational. He scored 23 goals and provided 12 assists, helping his team secure a league and cup double. Although his second season saw a dip in his scoring rate, with 13 goals including one in the Champions League, he still played a crucial role in retaining the domestic title. This season, Itten has already tallied for goals in just nine games, bringing his total to 40 goals since rejoining Young Boys. This impressive record highlights a significant contrast to his time at Rangers. Comparatively, Dessers, another player of interest, has scored 37 goals since the start of the 2022-23 season. Looking back, it's easy to question whether another opportunity under Van Bronckhorst could have allowed Itten to showcase his true abilities. It's clear that his subsequent success in Switzerland points to a solid centre-forward who may have struggled with the pressures at Rangers. For the current Rangers side under Philippe Clement, Itten's goals would undoubtedly have been a valuable asset. As the team relies heavily on Dessers, one can only hope that Clement, as he builds a squad capable of competing domestically and in Europe, will avoid the pitfalls of hasty decisions seen in the past. Before we continue, make sure to subscribe to our channel and turn on notifications to get all the exclusive news about Rangers FC. Don't overlook any details about your beloved team. It's crucial for Rangers FC fans. In the heart of the Scottish transfer market frenzy, a new name has emerged on the radar of Rangers FC, Cyrus Christie. The experienced right-back, who has recently parted ways with Hull City, is now a prime target for the Ibrox club. Christie, known for his dynamic defensive capabilities and attacking prowess, might just be the missing piece in Rangers' quest for dominance in Scottish football. With his departure from Hull City set for this summer, the pursuit of Christie has become one of the most intriguing narratives of the transfer window. Christie's journey through English football has been nothing short of remarkable. From his early days at Coventry City to stints at Derby County and Middlesbrough, the English-born defender has consistently proven his value on the pitch. His time at Fulham, where he was part of the squad that secured Premier League promotion, showcased his ability to perform at the highest level. Notably, his performances at Hull City further cemented his reputation as a reliable and versatile right-back, making him a desirable asset for clubs across the UK. 
The potential acquisition of Christie by Rangers is not just a routine transfer, it is a strategic move that could significantly bolster their defensive line. Rangers manager, Philippe Clement, is reportedly keen on strengthening his squad with experienced players who can bring stability and quality to the team. Christie's track record, which includes crucial contributions in both domestic leagues and international competitions, aligns perfectly with Clement's vision for Rangers' future. Rangers' interest in Christie also underscores their ambition for the upcoming season. As the club aims to reclaim its status at the top of Scottish football, bringing in a player of Christie's calibre could provide the team with the competitive edge it needs. His ability to contribute both defensively and offensively, coupled with his experience in high-stakes matches, could make a substantial difference in Rangers' campaign. Cyrus Christie's style of play is characterised by a blend of athleticism and tactical awareness, making him a standout right-back in the championship. Known for his pace and stamina, Christie excels in both defensive and offensive situations. His ability to make overlapping runs and deliver accurate crosses from the flanks is a significant asset to any team. This attacking prowess was particularly evident during his time at Fulham, where his contributions from the right side of the pitch were pivotal in securing the team's Premier League promotion. Defensively, Christie combines his physicality with a keen sense of positioning. He is adept at reading the game, which allows him to intercept passes and make crucial tackles. His defensive skills are complemented by his aggressive approach, which often sees him press opponents high up the pitch, disrupting their play. This tenacity and work rate are qualities that Rangers are likely to value highly as they look to strengthen their backline. Moreover, Christie's versatility allows him to adapt to various tactical setups. Whether playing in a more traditional fullback role or as a wingback in a more attacking system, he can adjust his game to fit the needs of the team. His previous managers have praised his adaptability and willingness to take on different responsibilities, a trait that could prove invaluable in the dynamic Scottish Premiership environment. In addition to his technical and tactical attributes, Christie's leadership on the field cannot be overlooked. His experience in various competitive leagues has not only honed his footballing skills but also developed his ability to guide and motivate his teammates. This leadership quality, coupled with his impressive work ethic, makes him an ideal candidate to bolster Rangers' squad and provide the team with both defensive solidity and attacking options. As negotiations continue and the transfer window edges closer to its deadline, all eyes will be on Rangers and their pursuit of Cyrus Christie. Fans and pundits alike are eagerly anticipating whether this move will materialise, as Christie's addition could potentially mark a turning point for Rangers. With the stakes high and the excitement palpable, the possibility of Christie donning the Rangers jersey is a thrilling prospect that promises to keep the footballing world on tenterhooks. Greetings, fans! Make sure to hit that like button and subscribe to the channel, as it's greatly appreciated by Rangers FC. And don't forget to share your thoughts on the news in the comments section below. Until the next video, stay tuned.